Hello there everybody, Sam Strains here and welcome back to the railway. Today I am not doing any modelling, but rather reverse modelling. As modellers, we spend our time taking very big things like locomotives and making them small. But today I want to do the opposite. I want to take something that we find in model form that is small and make it big. But the question is, what on earth do I choose? Because most of the things we see in model form are just small versions of something large already. And by making a larger version of it, that would just be completely pointless. It would just be reversing the process. So I want to find something that is native to model form that I can enlarge. And the obvious answer to me was, of course, the NEM coupling. Let's talk some numbers then. So, standard NEM tension lock coupling, the total length of this thing is 26 millimeters long, and that's in 00 scale. If I wanted to make a full-size replica of one of these couplings, it would be 201 centimeters tall. And that's quite big. In fact, taller than me and too tall to fit in this room, and I ain't got no 3D printer that's capable of making something quite that big. So instead, I've decided to make a tension lock as big as my largest 3D printer can possibly manage. And that would be the Mingda Magician Max with its massive build plate. And the scale of this reverse model will be 14 to 1. Not 1 to 14, because of course we are going the opposite direction today. To do this, I've taken a standard NEM coupling and scaled it up by 14 times in SketchUp. So that now, what used to measure 2.6 centimeters in length, will measure 37 centimeters in length. And when I build this thing, it will safely be the largest NEM coupling I have ever seen. But there is a problem with my scaled up coupling. In 00 scale, the two parts fit together like this. The hook just stresses slightly as it fits over this bar, but because the parts are so small, the hook doesn't break, and the hook stays in place because the bar that it rides on is a little bit thicker than the gap of the hook. As we know, this works perfectly fine at this sort of size, but at 14 times the scale, these parts are going to be much larger, and trying to force a massive version of this hook onto that bar, I think is just going to result in breakages. So before I print this, I need a solution. So what I've done is this. I've split the hook section into two separate parts, and then I've added some screw holes and also some screw threads into these two parts so that I can put everything in place and then screw the hook together so that I don't actually have to stress any parts in order to put these together. I think that's got to be the way to do this. And that is everything I have thought of. So now it is time to try the print. So I'm starting off with the coupling hook itself, just the main section of it. And this is a pretty darn large object. And the estimate for this print job is six hours. The NEM coupling itself though, is one of the larger pieces I have ever tried to print. And this thing is gonna take over 12 hours. And that's with me adjusting the settings to make this print faster. So I'll tune back in with you in just a second once the job is done. So the hook is now complete, and I have to say, it looks pretty darn good. So let's pull this thing off the build plate and take a closer look. Okay, the hook. <laughs> so this is so alien to me because these things I use every single day. There hasn't been a day in the last 10 years where I haven't seen one of these. But at the same time, I have never seen one at this sort of size. <laughs> that is absolutely insane. And I do, of course, have another part. Uh, that looks like this. That's just a final little piece of this hook which fits on like this and that finishes it off and hopefully will hold this hook in place. But this is the least impressive part in my opinion. The really crazy part is the coupling itself so let me show you that. So this is an incredibly large piece. It's a little bit tricky to actually get this off the build plate but equally it's quite a sturdy piece so I don't think it's going to fall apart or anything like that. Anyway, I've got the thing off. Are you ready? <laughs> so this is absolutely insane. Bear in mind, this is only 14 times the size it should be. Um, if I was going to make this in real life, it would be 
over 200 centimeters long with the hook which is just absolutely insane so i think what i need to do now is try and take these parts and put them together for the first time um, which is going to be crazy isn't it and then i guess i will make a second one so that i can actually couple two of them together and then we'll do some extreme testing to see what sort of load these are capable of carrying so this should be dead simple. All I need is a couple of screws, which I've got here, and I'm going to thread these into the hook adapter piece that I've created. Then I'm going to take the hook, and for the first time, I'm going to put it in position. <laughs> I'll have to do this upside down, I reckon. All right. Then it's gonna be a case of just lining this piece up and trying to screw the parts together. There, they're tight. <laughs> so there we have it. And the hook is obviously free, as you can see. Yeah, doesn't travel too far. It's got about the same amount of travel as a standard NEM coupling. So the design has actually translated remarkably well into 14 times the actual scale. So I think I need a second one. Oh, goodness me. Ah, two of them. Right, let's do some tests. I really want to know are these two going to couple together? So, in theory, these two should just couple together as NEMs normally do when I shove them together. Not tried this yet. So, here we go. <laughs> How do they lock? <laughs> yep. So, that is really quite impressive. This thing works at larger scales. So, let's have a closer look at these and then let's do some testing with them. Serious modelers might want to look away now because they are not going to like what I have to say and what I'm about to do. But I want to couple some trains together now. I think double O gauge is completely out of the question because these are obviously quite large. Don't get me wrong, they're farcically large for O gauge as well, but I think there's at least a chance we can try these on an actual railway. So I apologize hugely to Dapol and the makers of this coach for the treatment it's about to undergo but that's the kind of thing i am going for we have a coupling stuck on the top of a coach and as a locomotive for today i've got uh, perhaps something that is uh, it's a bit more reasonable to mess around with it's an old lima electric loco i think i don't think it's a diesel could be a diesel i forget i think it's an electric that's going to go on the roof of this so let's get this on in the same way you know what, I can, I can see this taking off. O-gauge couplings are incredibly fiddly things. This could solve that problem, I think. So I think this is gonna be tricky. I predict that quite a lot of force is gonna be required to put these couplings together. And I can just see this coach being pushed backwards by the engine. So I think it's gonna take quite a few attempts before we get an autonomous coupling. But I think with enough patience, I might be able to do this. So let's see how many attempts it takes. I think we need to couple at quite some speed. Let's go. <laughs> Oopsie, right. Failure number one. Right, I think I might have to be rougher this time. So let's try a bit more of a thwack. Oh, I think we got one of them. We definitely got one of them. <laughs> oh God. So that's the first kind of coupling. Um, but I think I really want both hooks to engage in order to call that a success. Here we go again. I think hard was best, I think. Well, that's always the case. Anyway, here, oh, no, maybe not. <laughs> Thank God. Okay, let's go again. Let's give it a good old shunt. Oh, yes, I think we got it. Are they in? <laughs> Yep, they are officially coupled together. We can push and pull. <laughs> oh, man. So there you go, folks. You've just witnessed the future of O-Gage.
Okay, so these couplings are a lot of fun, but one thing they simply aren't is realistic. And the reasons for this are manyfold, but mainly because normally when we use NEM couplings, we don't tend to attach them to our rolling stock and locos uh, with elastic bands. So I think some sort of giant NEM pocket is in order. And then my couplings will be completely realistic. So obviously a NEM pocket is this little slot that we find on locomotives and rolling stock. And it is this slot into which the couplings will fit. And I think I should be able to design one of these for my giant couplings. But rather than measuring a model version of a NEM pocket, I've decided to create my own based on my giant couplings. So I've figured out that I can compress the springy legs of my giant couplings by around this much. So I'm going to create a NEM pocket that fits that. And here's the design in SketchUp. What I've also added is a bit of a wall mount so that I can screw this to a wall and display it because let's be honest, that's probably the only reasonable use I'm going to be able to find for these couplings. So let's get one of these printed and let's see if it works. Right, let's give this a go. Let's insert. Wow, nice little snap. There we go, we've got a NEM coupling fixed to the wall. Does it come back out again easy? Yep, and it does go in there with quite a nice snap, I have to say. Yeah, that's quite the boom, isn't it, when it goes in? But there's just something a little bit naff about all this, isn't there? I want to do something a bit more extreme with this coupling. Coupling. Couple. Coupling. Coupling couples. Hmm. Hello, other half. Hello. We are a couple, aren't we? Yeah. And I've been thinking of ways to try and keep us together Sam's train style. So I've decided we're going to couple each other together like trains. Oh. Yeah. So, if you cast a careful eye onto my back, you'll notice if you're watching carefully that I've got a NEM pocket there. And this is what we're going to use to mount this coupling onto our backs. Have you seen one of these before? Not of this magnitude. <laughs> and then we're going to couple each other together like trains. So I think the key to this is role play, really. So I want you to imagine that I'm like a really handsome steam locomotive, all right? And if you want, you can be like a cattle wagon or a horse box. Cattle or, wagon. You know, slurry tanker? Cattle wagon. Cattle wagon. So you'll be a cattle wagon and we'll couple, couple together and I'll like take you on an adventure somewhere. <laughs> if you would, I want you to take this and insert it into my slot. <laughs> Two minutes. So I want you to take this and insert it carefully into my slot. Okay. Now. It's necessary to sort of pull this tight, and I'll show you why. Oh, so if you let it go, you can see it's all droopy. So that's what we call the Helgen coupling. But I need a more sort of erect one, and so I just have to pull it tight like that, and it sticks out perpendicular to my back. Do we like that word? We do like that Perpendicular. Word. Right, so that's me sorted with a coupling. <laughs> this is an end pocket. This is a coupling. And this is the belt from my dressing gown, which I want to put around your belly. <laughs> this, is, um, this is what we call glamorous show business. Oh, hang on. I need to be around the front. Can't show this on YouTube. Oh, yeah. Hasn't got the coupling in it yet. Right. <laughs> so I'm going to insert my coupling into your slot. Okay. Pull tight. <laughs> no. <laughs> right. So... What we're going to have to do is pretend that you're a Helgen locomotive. You can be a Helgen horse box or a cattle wagon and I'll be a, a handsome Backman steam loco. And we'll just have to assist the couplings together and then um, I'll haul you. <laughs> I'm not sure what that means but it sounded a bit dirty, didn't it? Okay, the big moment has arrived. We're going to put these couplings to the ultimate test. The handsome king class is going to couple up to the Helgen cattle van. 
Right. Rotate. Erect your couplings. Don't walk forwards, what are you doing? Couplings to see if you're coupled. Okay. Oh my gosh, I think we are coupled. We are finally coupled. I think what we need to do is just sort of gently walk apart and see what happens to the wall. Oh, okay, okay, okay. I think it's gonna fail. <laughs> hey, you won. You all stayed in. <laughs> Quite like this. I might take to wearing this belt around my stomach more often. Like a wrestler. Would you mind being out with me and pumply? I would. Right. Should we actually go for this if we can bust one? Are you strong enough? We'll say. All right, here we go. I can hear some it. I can't because I can bottom hear of a it car. cracking. Yeah, it doesn't matter if we break one. Yeah, but I'm going to go flying. Yeah? Yeah. That's why we've got the camera rolling. No. Go on, go flying. I promise. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> okay. Go on, go on, go on. <laughs> wow. I'll tell you what, I'll tell you what. The chair. <laughs> Let's put you in, you chair. sit in the chair and I'll see if I can pull you along. Are you ready? for the journey of a lifetime. I don't think so. Well, ready or not, it's happening, so be prepared. Right, so she's in the wheelie chair and uh, we think we might actually be able to pull her along. So let's see, couple to me, couple to me. It's definitely gonna come out. <laughs> right, okay, oh dear. Uh-oh, uh-oh. Is it broken? It's sort of broken. All right. Oh, okay, okay, okay. Yes! Yay! Yes! <laughs> <laughs> it wasn't a long journey, but it was a journey. Well, I've had a lot of fun making giant couplings and putting them to a very extreme test with my horse, with my girlfriend. And- uh, I'm a cow! I know, hey. don't go on YouTube and tell everybody that your girlfriend's a cow. I mean, I will. You're definitely not putting that in. <laughs> <laughs> All right, so what do you think? What do you think about the big coupling? I think it was a nice idea. <laughs> it sounds like there should be a but after that, but I won't press you. And uh, I don't think there's any real life advantage to having such things in existence, but I had fun and I hope you did as well. So, come on in, cow, <laughs> let's go. <laughs> oh, hang on. <laughs> Cheers, everybody. Take care. Thanks for coming out. <laughs> 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 I want a Sam Strange coupling. Oh, well, it needs to be sort of less flaccid. No, I can't say flaccid. <laughs> so, <laughs> so, are you ready for the <laughs> we need to We need to be in the middle. I don't know where the middle is. I can't there see. I haven't got my glasses so, on. Neither have I. It's not an excuse. Right. Are you <laughs> That was not it. me. I could feel your nose scrape my arm off. <laughs> Alright, it's a big nose, I understand. <laughs> Come on, this is not funny. It's not that funny, it's serious. You laughed as well. I was smiling, I always smile on camera. Are <laughs> you? I can't, just look normal. Stop looking like that. <laughs> oh, that'll do. That's enough of that. That'll do, Don. That'll do, Donkey. That'll do. Goodbye.